What's going on Collider Games fans? I'm Caboose and today I'm going to be reviewing the first installment in the Spider-Man PS4 DLC, The Heist. Now the DLC mainly centers in on Felicia Hardy aka the Black Cat, a character we already saw teased within the main story of Spider-Man PS4. She's back to her old ways of being a master thief and we are tasked to take her down. Now I gotta admit, going into this DLC, while I was very excited and looking forward to it, Part of me was a bit skeptical. Part of me just had this feeling that maybe it was going to be short and uneventful. I just had this voice in the back of my head saying, you know, maybe the DLC just isn't going to be all that. And I'm happy to admit that I was completely wrong to have any reservations here. The DLC is surprisingly packed with quite a bit of content. It's clearly handled with as much care as the main game was, and it's written very well. While it's not ridiculously long, you're going to find yourself clocking in roughly 4-5 to five hours to complete every activity within the DLC and get that 100% completion. And for some completionists out there, there are going to be some side activities within the heist that leave you wanting to come back and perfect them and get that high score. I won't spoil who they're involved with, but there are some awesome side activities there that you'll definitely want to keep coming back to so that you can get the highest score that you can achieve. Now, when it comes to Black Cat herself, Insomniac Games absolutely nailed the characterization of her, and she is a welcome addition to this game's already large cast of characters. Now, while, spoiler alert, you don't get to play as Black Cat, there are still some fun gameplay segments where you're fighting alongside her, and it brought a unique take on the already addicting gameplay. Now, when it comes to the story itself, I don't want to get into much of it as there are some spoilers if I want to just get into any of it, but I will say that it's not predictable at all, and there are some big twists and turns that happen throughout the story that I'm sure a lot of people will be very excited to see. However, things do slow down a little bit during the DLC. Mary Jane is involved within the story of the heist, and you do get to play as her once again, and to be honest, this was my least favorite part of the heist. Now, I don't want to knock Mary Jane on a perspective of story and writing, because from that standpoint, she's a really good character and she works perfectly within the heist. However, if we're talking on gameplay only, similar to how I felt about her gameplay segments in the main story for Spider-Man PS4, her gameplay segment in the DLC for Spider-Man PS4 just wasn't working with me and I wasn't a fan of it. And I also found it slightly lazy that the random crimes involved with the new faction of enemies you're facing off against are pretty much just reskins of the random crimes we've already encountered in the main game, with maybe one or two unique crimes that stood out. Now there's also three new suits that have been added into this expansion, and much to my surprise, you actually still have to earn them, rather than them just being immediately available to you upon the purchase of the heist. And while I like all three suits, I'm disappointed that they didn't come with any new suit powers, and I'm hoping that future chapters of The City That Never Sleeps don't follow this trend. Overall, the heist is well worth its price point, and if the other two expansions bring as much content as this did, then in my personal opinion, we'll really have gotten our money's worth with The City That Never Sleeps expansion pass. I'm going to give Spider-Man PS4's The Heist an 8.5 out of 10. And that's it. Let me know your thoughts in the comments. Have you had a chance to play the DLC? If so, let us know what you thought in the comment section below. And of course, if you enjoyed the video, a positive rating would be appreciated. And you can subscribe to the Collider Games channel for more Spider-Man PS4 and overall gaming coverage. I've been Caboose, and I'll see you guys later. Officers needed.